to see some of the climate protesters and some of their, their shenanigans taking place around the globe. Uh, just out of the UK, you had some lady trying to take her child to the hospital and these protesters wouldn't let her go through. Uh, we've seen people getting outraged in Germany and pulling them out by the hair. We've seen artwork being, well, attempted to be destroyed in various different museums. Um, these, are, these are the people that do too little. They do nothing. They're not solving any problem, not bringing any awareness. And I've always said again, 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 uh, complainers, whiners, malcontents accomplish nothing. Hard work solves problems. It's just that simple. Hard workers will solve problems. People are hard workers. They're fools. Again, there's been instances of this in pop culture it comes to mind as the um, classic Seinfeld episode where Kramer, Kramer raises money. He's going to do the AIDS walk in New York City, but um, he didn't want to wear the ribbon. And because he didn't want to wear the ribbon, they beat him up. Again, what does wearing the ribbon do? A absolutely nothing. Raising the money and participating actually did something. Um, Andy Kessler, one of my favorite columnists in Wall Street Journal, uh, wrote a piece about this, talking about answers and solving problems out there. And all of these malcontents throughout the years, he was pointing out various different songs from like the 1960s and 70s and protest songs, even, even uh, the 1980s. You know, you think about Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. You actually listen to the lyrics of that song. Um, you know, I, I'm 10 years burning down the road, nowhere to run, ain't got nowhere to go except what? 1980s, Ronald Reagan, everything did quite well. Anyway, anyway, um, what makes life better? You want to solve problems. You want to do a myriad of different things. You work. Productivity is key. It is. Again, this is this is the things that 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 has made wealth allowed for wealth to expand all around the globe. Um, people have new ideas, products, services, building and creating. That always tick me off and you see it all the time. It's like, oh, oh, I want to get involved in a nonprofit when I graduate from college. And, and the fact that you get all sorts of breaks from the government for working for the government or a nonprofit like breaks on your student loans. Who the hell are you? Well, why? Because you work for a nonprofit? It could be me calling me crazy, but it's a profitable businesses out there that create jobs and help to build livelihoods. Your nonprofit wouldn't exist without them. This is not a chicken or an egg thing. Okay. What came first? Productive businesses, then the nonprofit. Anyway, anyway, um, he talks in, a, he speaks in his article and I want to share some of this with you. It wasn't war protesters or those public servants who created change. It was private enterprises pushing the boulder of progress uphill. Economic might ended wars and even spread capitalism's reach. In the 1981 movie Stripes, love that movie, Bill Murray exclaims of America's wars, we're 10 and 1. Years later, Vietnam, the one that we lost, guess what? We got factory floors there that are, again, we're diversifying out of China. In the 1980s, Reagan bankrupted the Soviets. U.S. outgrew them, just as we will China. Communism is not compatible. I've said this again and again and again. Um, it, it's, it's, you don't need a crystal ball to see what's going to happen with command and control economies. They just don't work. Talks about today's DEI, ESG grievance industries and how they are just blowing in the wind. Three steps to redemption. This is their steps to redemption. You got to forget merit. No, 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 no merit. Can't have that anymore. You know, no, no striving to be the best at what you do. I don't know. Let, let's, let's push equity over excellence. Great idea. These are uproars because we don't have enough female crash test dummies or paper straws, trigger warnings, unisex bathrooms, wind farms, disarm police, censored songs, or sidewalk tents for the unhoused. These are vacuous 21st century versions of protest songs. Feels good. Does nothing. Greta Thunberg's How Dare You Top the Charts. Friend told me his latest movie idea. A disaster strikes and the world ends during the Burning Man Festival. And the chemically addled cosplaying steampunk burners are the only ones left alive. Hilarity ensues. Looking at our culture, it often feels as if there has already happened to some degree. Emo music, moralizing movies, pregnant men, crypto disasters. 
Sorry, it wasn't the hot, airy activists or puffing politicians of the 60s and 70s that drove progress. It was who? Come on, people. Who, who built the kind of people who built companies? I mean, think about it. FedEx, Intel, Walmart, Genentech, Nike, Home Depot, Microsoft, Apple. They're the ones that did it. Not all the whiners, complainers, and malcontents. Which one do you want to be? Watchdog on WallStreet.com.